Welcome to the ITU studio here at the Radio Communication Assembly, RA23 in Dubai. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by the chair of RA23, who is Carol Wilson. Carol, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off uh, by uh, asking you, we just had the, uh, the opening ceremony and we had the, the, the opening plenary here, um, what your hopes are for this, uh, this conference uh, and for this preparatory conference for the World Radio Communication Conference as well? Well, we have a lot of important issues ahead of us, um, and I'm not going to choose among them because everybody has their favorites, but um, they set the work plan and the directions for the next four years in the ITU. At a very important time as technology is improving and changing and affects the lives of so many people in so many ways. And one of the things I've learned over the years is there's no single way to weigh up the different uses of spectrum. Some is commercial, some is scientific, some is safety. And it's very difficult to give those equal weighting on any metric. So we have always a tension among how we deal with spectrum and um, there will be issues, but I hope that out of this we arrive at a compromise that makes people happy and that we can move on with the work for the next four years. Now, we were talking about when you're not chair of RA, what, 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 uh, what your, your uh, uh, main day-to-day -day tasks are. My main tasks um, have been in two parts. One is that I've been very privileged to be the chairman of ITUR Study Group 3 on radio propagation, and that has been a, a, a real privilege, a, a very enjoyable activity. Um, chairing that group. I've been involved there for almost 30 years, so it's, or over 30 years, so it's quite, uh, quite near and dear to my heart. Out of that and the propagation, um, I use my skills for the other half of my job, which is looking at interference issues to do with a radio quiet zone for radio astronomy uh, for a new telescope facilities in Western Australia. So looking at interference and managing uh, spectrum issues. When you, you found out you were going to be uh, chair of the RA, were there any major uh, concerns or any major uh, uh, thoughts about uh, the challenges of, uh, of leading a conference such as this? Well, it is quite daunting, but um, I guess I've been chairing Study Group 3 for a number of years and I've had the experience of dealing with difficult situations and complicated problems. Um, but also I feel that this is very important work and I did want to do my part to contribute to that. So um, I was very pleased to take it on, but it is, it is rather daunting. And I've been very fortunate to have <clears throat> the strong support of the director of the Bureau and the staff in the Bureau who have been very, very helpful in, in the background getting things ready. Excellent. And now this morning it was mentioned that you are the first female chair of, our, of the Radio uh, Communication Assembly. Um, I wanted to know how, how that made you feel. I mean, we've been in... in, in encouraging at ITU a, a female participation, a better gender balance in uh, radio communication conferences. Uh, and how far do you think that's being achieved? I think we're getting there. I mean, I think this is now, I'm probably the third in the trifecta. Vina Rawat was the first woman to chair a WRC. Cindy Cook was the first to chair a CPM, and now I'm the first to chair a radio assembly. Um, and I was approached by two of the women after the plenary this morning from a developing country who said that they were very pleased to see a woman up front because it encouraged them to be more participating. So I think um, I'd like to do that as a role model um, and I'd like to see more women taking on the roles. And indeed, we have a number of very qualified women chairing um, subcommittees and working groups at this assembly and I'm sure at the conference to come. Well, Carol, thank you very much for joining us in the studio and we wish you all the very best. We're at the first day here and we've got a, a few more days to go, uh, but uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to uh, lead it admirably. And thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. And do join us on the ITU YouTube channel for more interviews uh, from the Radio Communication Assembly as well as next week from the World Radio Communication Conference too. And look forward to catching up with everybody here and giving you some more insights into the interesting world of radio communication. Thank you very much.